Hello, welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. So, in this video, we are going to solve um, a question that um, is kinematics, uh, standard kinematics. Now, when you look at, uh, at the screen right now, the question reads, a ball dropped off a high cliff and two seconds later, another ball is thrown vertically downwards with an initial speed of 30 meters per second. How long will it take the second ball to overtake the first ball? All right. So here you can see that we have two balls. The first ball has been dropped and the second ball has been thrown. So those two words, they have to give you something or they have to give you an idea of the kind of uh, motion that these two balls uh, had. When you look at the first ball, the first ball was dropped, meaning it came from rest. It had an initial velocity of zero meter per second. And the second ball was thrown vertically downwards, meaning it was given some initial velocity which has been mentioned here to say it was 30 meter per second. So how do we go about uh, solving such a question? So the first thing that we're going to say is, let's take uh, the time <clears throat> that the second, the first ball was uh, dropped at b equal to time equal to t, all right? So we're saying, Let let okay. So let ball one, meaning the first ball, be dropped at time t. All right. So if the first ball has been dropped at time t. It means that the second ball, which was dropped or thrown two seconds later, it means that it was in relation to the time the first ball was dropped, it's t minus two, all right? The second ball was thrown at time being equal to t minus two seconds. So now we then write the equations of motions for the two balls. So we say the first ball, I'll say ball one, what's going to happen is let's say h being equal to that, it is squared. Now it had no initial velocity, so we have, zero meter per second times t plus half gt squared so that h is going to be equal to half gt squared let this be our equation one and we do the same also for the second ball so the second ball we are saying we have h being equal to ut plus half gt squared. So now, the time here is t minus two plus half gt minus two squared. All right. So what we're going to have is h being equal to ut minus two u all right, plus half g, t minus two squared is going to be t squared minus 40 plus four, all right, when you expand that one. So we're going to have h being equal to ut minus two u plus half g t squared 
and then minus. When we multiply half by four there, we're going to have two GT. And here we're going to have plus two G, all right? So now, this is equation two. Now, we are being asked for how long it is going to take for the second ball to overtake the first ball. So now, what you have to keep in mind is that for the second ball to overtake the first ball, since they have been they are coming from the same height, it means that they would have covered the same distance. The second ball would have covered the same distance as the first ball for it to overtake. So what we are saying, in other words, this is equation one being equal to equation two, because both equations for the two balls are talking about height or the distance or the di displacement. So now this one is going to be equation one being equal, equal to equation two for us to find the time at which the second ball had to overtake the first ball. So these two equations are going to be, we are saying equation one equal to equation two. So we are going to have half gt squared being equal to ut minus 2u plus half gt squared minus 2gt plus 2g. All right. So from here, we can see that we have this common and that common. And here we remain with a zero. And you, we have been given to say it's 30 meter per second times time minus two times 30 again. And then we have two. And then G is the gravitational acceleration, which is 9.81 meter per square second times T plus we have two again times 9.81 meter per square second. So, what has remained now is basically the mathematics. So we're going to have zero being equal to 30 T. And here we're going to have minus Kisti. And here we're going to have minus 9.81 um, by two we get 19.6, so we have minus 19.6 T. And here we're going to have plus 19.6, all right. So we can group the like terms. We're going to have that minus 30, and we have minus 19.6 T minus T plus 19.6. So 30 minus 19.6, we are going to have 10.4 T. And here we're going to have a minus, so minus kiss T plus 19.6, going to have 40, Point four. All right, so we're going to have 10.40 being equal to 40.4. So we divide both sides by 10.4, 10.4, and we're going to have our T Right, so we're going to have our t being equal to 3.88 seconds. So it was after 3.88 seconds that the second ball overtook the first ball. So this is how you get to, to calculate uh, such a question or find um, such a question. So if you found this video to be helpful, kindly give it a reaction, like, share with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel for more help of physics uh, videos. Thank you.